The world continues to evolve and change, become more dangerous, more efficient at killing. It was always this way, but now it just happens so fast. Even myself, who I am now, I have changed, both willingly and not. It's made it so that I can build a home, so that I can save lives. But I know that I've lost a lot of lives along the way. I can't get the smell off me. The smell of gas and soot. All day, all night, I burnt that field. Every trace of spore, I did all I could to eliminate. I think I've bought us time, but they spread so fast. All it takes is one that's still alive. Maybe automation is the way to go. Tarts, some form of protection, maybe. For now though, I can keep the lights on. Who knows, there could be others out there still, trying to make it on their own. And that tower we built is just sat there. We need to get it working. Just need the right book, the right know-how. I know that Socorro is close. She just needs a little more for a breakthrough. A library is what I need. Knowledge means going back out there. And honestly, I think that'll be good for me. To get away from the noise. All this activity, I'm not used to it. But they're all getting along. This place is finally starting to flourish. And with that radio tower working, who knows? We could find even more lost souls. Or bones, as Bridget would say. I've got to try. Kia ora. Legionnaires, Rikon here, and welcome back to Let's Roleplay Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, Dusk's Tale. We are here with Dusk Wood at the woods. And, uh, well, we're not exactly where we left off in the last episode. I went around the area where we had the spread, and I made sure as best as I could, that we removed every little spalling. Now, there's a strong chance that some of them will have survived out of my sight and they will grow back. But for now, we have bought ourselves time. And I think that's all that we can really do with this uh, threat. If we haven't outright killed them this time, it is just going to be delaying them for a future spread. So we will have to try and keep our eyes peeled on that. But our goal, at least for the first part of today's episode, is going to be to try and get this thing working. So we are going to have to head out into the world to try and see if we can find a library. And one of the closest ones to us is just down here in Blaine. I don't know if we've fully explored this library yet. Uh, if this fails, we do have another set of libraries up in Richmond. We might be able to get a few other goodies from there as well. What we're going to try and do is uh, Myron Thomason. Interesting. There's someone in the police station here. Huh. And some plutonium as well. I don't remember encountering a Myron. But yeah, we can feel a mind that is there. Very, very interesting. Uh, but yes, back on track. We are trying to get Socorro the skills necessary to be able to work on this. Right now, she's sitting at around about four electronics. We need to bump that up to six for her to be able to work on it. Uh, things are a little quieter here. People have kind of settled down. And I think it's mostly because I've sent quite a few of them out. Um, yeah, we can go ahead and you know what? I feel like we should bring back... Not from crafting. No, everyone else can just kind of chill for now, doing their thing, crafting, cooking, everything else like that. We'll leave them out hunting and trapping and foraging. We will return to them when we get back. For now, though, we're going to be just picking up our cart here and heading on down towards the battle toad. And I've done some work on the battle toad. Only a little bit of work. We have um, replaced the weapon that we had on the turret. We now have an M249, and we have it loaded with uh, these ammo belts here. These really big ammo belts. Um, so it's going to be like a proper freaking machine gun. That is connected, right? Grab the battle toad? Yeah, no, we don't want to grab battle toad. No, we want to just jump into the battle toad, start it up, and let's get the camera system working. I don't think the turret's turned on right now. Um, 
yeah, turret targeting modes, manual, automatic. Okay, so let's just leave it on manual for now. Uh, look at that. We can control it. Fantastic. That's good to see. Uh, because we are going to be rocking to town, and I don't know what the condition of the town is going to be. Um, we closed the curtains, so we are invisible now to the outside, which is good. We're just going to cruise on down the road. Uh, there is an iBot down here that I kind of want to try and keep an eye out for. We want to try and avoid it where we can. There it is. It is, well, it was around for a second then. Um, and we're just going to go through this town, first of all. Seeing if we can find a way through, heading down towards the west. And we're pretty much going to go along this road just for a little bit before we turn around entirely. And just start making our way down. I think this is the point here. Let's have a look at our map. Yeah, we kind of want to just continue on going southwest from here for a little bit. Across the field, we see a gargoyle. We're not going to encounter, or rather we're not going to start an encounter with anything out here because we don't need to right now. We just want to try and cruise around the outskirts of this football field. Easy. There we go. Slipping our way through. No real trouble yet. A bone plate wolf and a, a lamppost that I neglected to see. But hey, these things happen. Uh, so from this position here, we could try and sneak through there to get down towards this library. Or we could try and go along this section here. There is a gas station, which is kind of tempting because uh, I wouldn't mind getting some more diesel and some more petrol. We could just load up the tanks here. Um, so yeah, let's start to make our way down. We are going to encounter a few foes along the way. Zombie predators, acidic zombies, among other things. And so what we're probably going to do... Oh boy, we've got quite a lot here actually. So let's go stop our vehicle. They can't see us right now. It's that uh, shocker that I'm a little bit concerned about. So, you know what? Let's try and do a, a manual shot towards it if we can. I don't know if we can... Oh wow. Nice. Uh, well, we can't steady, but... It's doing an okay job. We might actually want to wait until it gets a little bit closer because I think the closer something is, the better the chance we have to hit it. And uh, we are kind of tearing through ammunition now at the moment. But you know, these things happen. Let's see, who next? Yeah, you. That looks like it was, well, it sounded like it was just one shot. Okay, a few towards you. Can't see anymore. That's fine. Okay, another shot over this way. We can see you through the camera, can't we? Yes, we can. Okay. And shooting towards you. Gargoyle next. And I think once we have actually taken down this skelly friend, this uh, shocker, wherever it is, once that's down, we'll just set this to automatic. Let's see. Ah, there you are. Back there. It's bleeding out at the moment. I think there's probably a strong chance that it's just going to bleed out entirely. So, let's let this thing just do what it wants to. So, we'll go over to the targeting modes, change it to automatic, and uh, just let it start to uh, do its thing. Now, hopefully it's not going to just tear through 500 rounds. But who knows? It might just. Right now... It's doing a pretty good job at just clearing the area. Okay, all seems to be quiet, so I'm going to go ahead and change it back over now. So, control vehicle, uh, we will change it to just be uh, not firing mode. Be nice if we could change that. Uh, it's the targeting mode that we want to change to manual. There we go. That should be fine, and we'll actually just stop driving for now, because I want to go out and just smash all these corpses. We're still just listening to music right now. We seem to be enjoying that. And look at that. We've got a regular zombie over there. We're going to ignore it just for now as we uh, check out uh, what's on these bodies around us. Uh, we'll remove the search here. Okay. Anything of interest jumping out at us so far? There's a gasoline tank just hanging out over there. Sure. Hey there, friend. Goodbye, and we do have some others that are still making their way on over towards us. Nothing that we can't handle, so we'll just hold our ground for now. Flesh Raptor incoming. Okay, we're now glowing. Should be a little bit easier for the Flesh Raptor to hit us, one might think. We'll just stay zoomed in, take out the little one. 
come on. They are quite hard to hit. And any day now. I seem to be getting quite out of breath trying to hit them. It's because our torso is quite encumbered. Makes it difficult for us to get the strikes that count in. Also, we need to be careful that we aren't going to get out of breath. Uh, you know, it's just smashing these bodies. So we'll just kind of just wait here. Let our, let our breath come back. Okay, we've got a predator that's charging us. Yep, and they usually do end up making us bleed. So we'll take that down. Um, we've got a soldier just walking towards us. Go ahead and wield our halberd yet again. Let it get a little bit closer to us. Ideally, we'll take a step up now. All right, it's gonna have decent speed, but I just want to try and see if we can outpace it just a little bit. There we go, nice. And we'll just go back to a regular walking pace. We've got a webbed zombie coming from the west. Let's let you get a little closer. Take you down at range. Okay. Spit it to the south and a regular zombie heading on over. Obviously, all of that gunfire quite loud, so we're going to draw things to us. Oh, we've got a skeletal juggernaut to the south, potentially. Let's just have a look at our monsters here. Uh, okay, quite close. So much so that I think we're actually going to run back towards the vehicle. We don't need to fight that thing right now, so we're not gonna. We're just going to jump back into here. Um, let's see. We really do need to have better sight, but uh, we should just be able to go to this and targeting modes, change it to automatic. It can shoot a lot better than we can see. And that is pretty much just constantly shooting this skeletal juggernaut. There we go. And the thing is dead. We'll let it take down this next group that are heading up towards us. So it's pretty much four shot bursts. So it, it's going to last a little while. Let's uh, jump back over. Change it back to manual. And let's just get our breath back if we can. Dangerously close. Oh. oh, that's so loud. Yes, we'll stop catching our breath. And we'll let it start uh, doing its thing again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. Tar no, targeting modes. Come on, Rikon. You can do this. There we go. Automatic. And beautiful. Just like so. Wasting quite a few shots here, so we'll go ahead and stop that. Enough of that, please. If it wants to come towards us, it will. Oh, and it died anyway. Blood loss. Okay. Well, <laughs> let's jump back out of this thing. Um, the battery should be fine. Yeah. We can leave it for now. Okay. Well, hi there. We've got a Kevlar zombie that's nearby as well. We don't want to be running, so let's just kind of slow down. Wait for this Kevlar zombie to get a little bit closer. Damn, we've really bring... We've brought everything. That's nearby. Probably gonna get hit back soon. Damn, we did a lot of blocking there. Just using our halberd and our armor. Uh, let's go ahead and continue after a break. Huge boomer stop... Uh, <laughs> huge boomer spotted. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and stand our ground. We're getting very out of breath at the moment. Again, just... Hold our ground. Okay. <laughs> Just covered in mess yet again. Alright. Waiting. Oh, wow. You are fast. Very fast. Okay. We listen to some tropical, dark, industrial music. Wonderful. Does the trick. There we go. Stamina's back. Lovely. So, let's get to work. We've got a lot of bodies to smash here. We don't want to pulp this corpse. Instead, we want to just go ahead and dismember it into pieces. So many bodies. Oh, Kevlar Hulk. To the east, huh? How far to the east? Quite far. Hasn't actually seen us yet, but probably will. So we need to be in a position where we can run back to our vehicle. We, you know, we could probably handle a Kevlar Hulk, but it will do damage to us in the meantime, and we don't need that, so, yeah. Skeletal Zombie, we can handle that as well. Let this runner get a little closer. Okay. Smash this body down here. Just a little, a little wary about this uh, Kevlar Hulk. It is starting to make its way over towards us. 
All right, how do we want to try and do this thing? Honestly, I think the smarter move for us is just to make it back to the vehicle. Hop on inside. Yep, here it is, and just let it do its thing. Examine the vehicle. No, we want to control. That's what we want to do. And have fun. And now it is Kevlar, so I don't know how much. I mean, it is getting through there. Yeah. It's doing work. There we go. Just like that. Uh, you can you can stop now. We can handle the rest. And uh, we'll stop running. But we will go ahead and walk outside. Hey there, friend. Oh, a Night Stalker, huh? Ow! Threw us back, even. And we can't see. Okay, that's fine. Nothing that we can't dispatch here. Well, Shrieker got us a little bit there. Man, this is unending. I feel like we're pulling the entire town, like this whole large office tower and just everything else. Because of the noise, primarily. Okay. And we're out of breath yet again. We, I think it's our torso encumbrance that is just, yeah, getting to us. And making us run out of breath so quickly. Because we just don't seem to be able to fight as long. Our weariness is fine. Like, we're totally okay in that regard. So yeah. <laughs> we should be all good. I'm going to go ahead and just drop this for a second so that we can stop the bleeding. Pick it back up. Wield it yet again. Probably going to have to do some repairs on this. Uh, let's smash the continue after break. Bloat is zombie spotted. Stop catching breath. No. Dangerously close. Okay. It is dangerously close. There we go. Let it blow up and we'll just move away. That's fine. Some more friends coming over from the east. Alright. Firefighter, come and get us. You just missed the smoker, my friend. Okay. Ooh, that skeletal zombie is a little creepy. You can just see it inside this uh, this building here. It's a strip club. What is this what is this skeletal zombie bear doing inside of a strip club? I don't know. And it doesn't seem to be able to get out either. We've got a slavering bite of it. It's just kind of doing its own thing and God damn it, of course. Of course we have you just pop out of nowhere. Okay. Back into the vehicle. Yep. Should have known better. Targeting modes. There we go. Let you do your thing. I mean, we could just literally wait here and let it just finish everything else off. Catch our breath. Okay, ignore. Why is it taking us such a long time to catch our breath? <laughs> I don't know. For real, though. Wow, that's very loud. And there we go. We finally catch our breath. Uh, and I think we actually finally ran out of ammunition there. Uh, well, we aren't running at the moment. But we'll go ahead and reload this. There we go. Okay. Are you quite done? Nope. Maybe. Oh, right. yeah, we'll let it finish the hole. Okay. Jeez. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, uh, yep, finish that off. Oh, a skeletal juggernaut, of course. <laughs> the second I'm gonna jump out, eh? God damn. A lot of foes. Yeah, it's certainly not the most accurate weapon in the world, but it's pretty good. It's certainly doing some damage. Especially when this large groups, it's gonna be quite good because, you know, there's gonna be collateral. There we go. Jeez. Okay, take the smoker down and then we'll call it. I think that's that. No, there's more coming from the east. <laughs> wow, who would have thought a simple trip to the library could have been so dangerous? But these towns have had a long time to evolve without Dusk's influence. Yeah. Okay, I really want to smash the skeletal brute. Thank you. Thank you, we got there in the end. There is just so much death here. 
wild. Just bodies piled up all around here. So many more dead than we could have imagined. The entire population of a town left wandering around aimlessly until finally they had a reason. Something to focus on. And that something was Dusk making a whole heap of noise. Yup. Okay. Just trying to monitor our stamina at the moment, really. Let's let that skull zombie get closer. Finish it off. Okay. And just go through and make sure that none of these suckers are going to come back to life. Because we've invested a lot of resources in them. So we want to make sure that they stay dead. Okay, folks. One at a time. Kid first. You next. Leave the car alone, please. Oh god, you've got to be kidding me. Come on. I tell you what we need. We just need rubber gloves. If we have rubber gloves, we'd be able to fight this thing at a distance, no problem. It's actually pretty damaged already. We just don't have the time to, to get our laser pistol out and to dick around with it. So let's just do it this way. <laughs> Why not? Let it do its thing. There you go. <laughs> Hope you're happy. And you know what? Let's just wait in here. Catch our breath back. God damn. Very loud. Very loud as always. Okay. Pop back outside. Just peek. Okay. It's just regular folks. Let them come around here if they want to. Start off with you. Okay. Thrown back. Didn't hurt us that much though. There we go. And we got another. Okay. Let's make sure they stay dead. Continue on down here. The listener is close and it actually got us bleeding as well. Alright, let's go ahead and stop that blood. We've got a dog that's about to charge us. Another bloated zombie, eh? Okay. Come on then. Got him. Just so much of the day has just been this unending siege. And here I thought, I was like, you know, Blaine's not that big of a town. Surely getting to this library won't be that easy. I mean, we could just rush to it. But I feel like clearing this out is a good idea. I think we've just pulled everything from Shaftesbury over towards us as well. Which has just caused uh, a whole heap of fun. You know? <laughs> just a good time. Okay. Yet again, we're going to try and see if we can catch our breath. Skeletal Brute, we're going to go ahead and stop. Alright, head on over towards us then. Yeah, of course he stands in the one place that we can't hit him properly. Ow. Alright, let's get back up onto our feet. Move back. There we go. And smash here. We will have a look at everything that's on the ground here after we've finished dispatching all these bodies. And no doubt there are going to be more dead that greet us along the way. So we'll just do what we do. And uh, spitters and the rest will just go ahead and dissect. Or dismember rather than dissect. Dissecting was Brand's thing. Okay, regular zombie. Hello, come on. Let's do this. Done. Okay, <laughs> we've got a boomer heading on over towards us. Come on. There you go. Nearly through these bodies now. Hey, we haven't seen the skeletal zombie yet. It probably made its way out at some point and got destroyed. I gotta think so. Tough zombie spotted, stop smashing. Yup, let's wait for it. Deal with it. Okay, we've definitely got more dead over to the east that are going to come and say hello. Yup, we sure do. Thorny shamblers, so they're going to try and shoot at us from a distance. Let's just wait around the corner for them. Deal with the dog first. And then the shamblers when they arrive. There they are. Okay, we can actually strike them around the corner, which is fantastic. Nice. 
Okay, so I do want to just wait and try and catch our breath. Nothing else came. Wonderful. Holy crap. Now, we've got a lot of stuff on the ground here. Is there going to be anything worthwhile? Who knows? Who knows? There's going to be a lot of things. So there's guns, sure. Yeah, we're just going to have a look through. See if there's anything that jumps out at me as, ooh, okay, that's interesting, that's cool, we could do with that. Uh, the clothing is pretty much going to be a nope for us, and a lot of this is just going to be clothing. Yikes, so much. So much stuff. Okay, so we do have some MREs, okay, they're worthwhile, us taking. I mean, it's just, it's food on the go that we can take, and it looks like most of it is down here. Yeah. So we'll go ahead, take those three. Do we have any others? No? Okay. Uh, let's just jump back down the bottom of this. Kind of work our way back up. Yeah. I don't think that there's going to be much else here that we want. Military ID card, cool. We have so many ID cards right now. The only ones that I'd actually be interested in picking up are the industrial ones. Because we've got lots of science, we've got lots of military... We're okay across the board, and damn, Dusk's health is okay as well. This should have done a lot more damage to us than it did. Uh, so, let's jump back into the vehicle and just drive along a little bit further. Oh, we'll, we'll go ahead and kill you first, hey? Yeah? There we go. Oh, we don't actually have to do anything else to you. You're just super dead. Dusk is actually feeling pretty good about life at the moment. Yeah, we'll leave that closed and just toddle on down along here. We will destroy some things in the process. That's fine. Looks like that's actually as far as we're going to be able to make it uh, without kind of trying to thread the needle here. So let's maybe just spin around for now. Yep, that's fine. And we'll go ahead and turn off the camera system, turn off the R lights. We should be able to handle anything else that's out here. We'll take down the SWAT zombie. Come on, let's do this, lad. There we go. AR-15, you can keep it. We've got enough ammunition right now, we don't need to really worry. Uh, so, we've got a house here. We've got some more coming from the northwest, apparently. But yeah, that's what we're interested in, the library. So, let's go grab you. Take the, our little vehicle off of here. And get dragging. Okay, come on then. Let's fight. Do this thing. We've got a zombie predator, okay. And this is the library here. Hey, Sproglodyte inside. Okay, come on then. Jump on over towards us. Or not. Oh, just absolutely annihilated. It was a, it was a creepy crawler, actually. Okay. Gargoon is dead. Or the Batwing, rather. Okay. Lots still to the east. Okay. I think they have seen us, so we will try and fight them out of here. Uh, what I want to do, though, is see if we can get them... Yes, in the cart. Because that's going to slow them down a lot. Uh, stop smashing. Ignore. Come on. They're going to smash through the glass. No, they're not. Well, that's working out for us so far. Oh, here we go. All right, just... No need to break it. There we go. Anybody else? No? Okay. All right then. So, there are going to be a lot of books here that we already have, but I think we're pretty much going to want to try and take everything. Everything that isn't a regular, just kind of non-fiction book. So, let's just go all around. We'll take one of each, pretty much. Historic armor smithing and all the rest. Uh, Bowie is buddy, Fletcher's friend. Historic weapon smithing. Swords of the Samurai antique adornments so the reason that we're taking all of those is um we've thrown books away before and there are still other things our friends can learn from those so birdhouse monthly take one of those crafty crafters programming glass blowing and yeah it's going to take up a bit of space but that's okay um oh boy there's going to be a lot of non-fiction books that uh, we haven't read yet Hmm. Outdoor Adventures Survival Guide. Yeah, I'm totally okay with us having double up on books now. Through the lens, we do actually have quite a few of those, so I think we're okay. 
Let's just have a quick look at them. Most of the time, it seems like books are sorted uh, pretty well in these libraries. So we're going to have mostly just uh, non-fiction books on this back wall. At least that's the way it seems to be. Same thing here. Yep, that's fine. Move along a little bit more. Yep, cool, cool, cool. Okay, what about this lot? Okay, there we go. Chemistry. Uh, that's going to be electronics. That's fantastic. Good, good, good. I will take that. Chemistry textbook. Ham radio illustrated. Robots. Essential oil. And what's a transistor? Excellent. All electronics books. So this is precisely what I was hoping to find. Under the hood, we want that. Mechanical mastery. Popular mechanics. Internal combustion. Electronic circuit theory. Advanced electronics. Yeah, this is this is just this is my dream. This is exactly what I wanted when we came out here. Um, clothing designers portfolio. Sure, there might actually be some things in there that we don't know of yet. Um, anything else? Cooking on a budget. Yep. So author monthly. So what clothing. And let's just go ahead and read through that real quick. Okay, faux fur stuff it looks like. Nice. Anything hidden around the back? It doesn't look like it. It's mostly going to be a trouble. I feel like we've got the books that we need. So we're going to start to make our way back towards our vehicle. We've achieved our goal. At least it seems that way. So we're just going to move on up here. Push that into place and load it up. Okay, so let's have a quick look at these. Uh, electronic skill to five. Good. Okay. And uh, what else do we have? You should help us as well. Electronics to eight. Okay, and you only need to have four. That's exactly what we needed. Hell yes. Super happy about that. Let's put the halberd away. We can even open up that. Let's turn on the camera system. Okay, do I want to go to the fuel station before we leave? I mean, we're here. How bad is it there? Actually, not that bad. We should be able to approach it from the south. Let's try and do that. Uh, do we have cash on us? Uh, no. No, we don't. We do have a litter hack. We might be able to use that. I mean, let's let's try. Let's try, eh? So, we'll go ahead and speed up. We could just get some cash from all the bodies that are here, but... That's the lazy way. <laughs> or rather, that's the easy way. <laughs> We're not going to do that. Okay, back on over here. So, let's see. What do we want to fill you up? Oh, it's a bush, okay. Uh, we want to try and fill you up with diesel if we can. Okay. It can be a little frightening. Oh boy. Yeah, stop there. That is very frightening. <laughs> okay. We spotted a shriekling. Sure. Hazmat zombie. Let's get the halberd out. Smash it. Okay, uh, we could just take your wallet. Yeah, let's go ahead and unload that thing. Alright, so. Ooh, don't you start smashing things around here. I mean it. Also help me. <laughs> okay. We feel remorse. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Okay, we're gonna just draw this group to us here. So we can deal with them away from the fuel. Okay go. Done. Dusted, I think. Deal with the spitter. Okay. Do you have a wallet? No. I don't suppose you do. No, that's fine. Okay, so what pump number do we think this is? I think this is maybe four, pump number four. Diesel pump one. Okay, yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Buy diesel. Hack console. Oh, fantastic. You hack the terminal and route all available fuel to your pump. Freaking heck yes. Okay, wonderful. Uh, use the diesel pump. Yep, go ahead and fill the battle toad. Uh, fill that one there. Okay, excellent. We hear it go silent. Uh, we used all of the diesel that was here. Okay, wonderful. Now let's just do the same thing with the gas. Or rather, the petrol. Um... Oh, we cause a short circuit. Okay, that's fine. 
We've got a zombie technician down here. Oh, he attempted to pull our weapon away unsuccessfully, uh, which is something that he can do. But he failed, thankfully. We had too good of a grip. Good to see, good to see. Um, yeah, I... I It says all available fuel. I just... I do wonder if there is more at these ones here or not. I feel like that's it. Use the diesel pump. Hang on. No, there is. There's more here. We can just fill it. Okay. Fill the battle toad. Okay. Out of order. So this one probably still has some. So we'll see if we can back up very carefully. Very, very carefully. Okay, that's fine. We should be able to reach it from here. Just... No, no, not, not moving vehicle. Okay, so we'll start driving again real quick. Handbrake. Handbrakes are important. Okay. Here we go. Much better. <laughs> okay, and you. Wonderful. Pour into the battle toad. Excellent. There's some left over. Wonderful. So there we've got... We're, we're filled now. We've got, we've got everything. Pour into a container. Uh, fill battle toad. Okay, so we must have filled one of the other tanks. Yep, that's good. I'm happy with that one being used for that. Uh, the other one, if we can fill that up with gas, that'll be good. So, let's see if we can do it. I get so nervous in these bloody fuel stations, I tell you. Okay, backing up, backing up, backing up. Right. Because we want to just be one square away at all times, and that can be a little tricky to uh, manage. So, we do that, just start turning. That's just close enough to the top one. Okay, that's the best that we're going to get for that one there. So let's see if we can hack it. Let's put the halberd away for now. Okay, you, hack. You failed to hack, but no alarms are triggered. Okay, let's try again. Alright, there we go. Done. Let's go ahead, pour it into here. Go silent. Good, that means that we can get more. Out of order. Okay, on to the next pump. Clamber on through here. Back on up. Okay, so we are going to have to go a little bit more of an angle. That's where things get tricky. Okay, that's close enough to get both of them. Stop driving. So bloody nervous doing this. Okay, you next. There we go. Go silent. And this one. Okay, go silent. How are we looking? Pretty, pretty good. Nearly a hundred liters of gasoline in there. And that's all of those pumps done. Okay. This has been a very worthwhile trip for us. And we'll just go ahead and reverse on out of here without any trouble at all. Ho 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 ho. There we go. Like a pro, Dusk. Like a pro. Okay, we're very hungry at this stage. Let's just stop for a second here. Uh, we've got these uh, berries and whatnot. We'll go ahead and have the apricots. Go and eat all of the elderberries. Maybe some of the blackberries as well. Apparently we don't like them as much right now. Very good for our health. That's good. We do need to improve our overall health. I uh, have a multivitamin at the same time. And we are going to make our way back home. Because uh, we have the books that we need. And once we get back, we're going to call everyone back from their individual jobs. See what they've been up to. See how it's going for them. And, uh, yeah. I guess I will see you back at home. Should we not run into any, you know, massive troubles. Yeah, we're going to destroy a whole heap of things here. There's a Necro Boomer. That's really not good. We don't want it to bring anything back. But we should be fine here. Did I just hear the back door open? I heard a door open. That's kind of spooky. Yeah. Don't know if I like that. So we're just going to navigate our way back home now. I'll see you once we reach the woods. Okay, we have arrived back home in one piece. Let's get this vehicle parked on up. Just like so. All right. And stop driving. Let's turn off the camera system. Make our way out the back here. Okay, and we are going to take this thing off. Drag it along. And just dump all the books for now. I think we're going to have some rotted bodies there. That's okay. It happens. And yeah, we've got a lot of books to drop off. 
wonderful and bam move them uh move them not working not working for some reason can't move all uh oh it's the same area that's why i was being dumb there we go all of that's moved we can just leave that here for now and uh yeah we need to call some folks back there's gonna be a whole heap of things that are just dropped on the ground here so let's see how this goes so first of all finish crafting so lino has been making some spiked pointy sticks for us uh so that we can use them for fortification eventually uh we'll bring back our log cutter buster you have brought back 13 logs okay that's not too bad We'll go bring back our foragers. Socorro, first of all, who we need to have a good chat to. Uh, Julian next, and then Byron. Okay, let's see. While foraging for edible plants, a silent spectre approaches Byron Sweet Divine. Okay, didn't detect the ambush until it was too late. The Jabberwock. Now, we've had Byron lie about this before i'm pretty sure someone lied about a, a jabberwock encounter before yeah kicked a jabberwock to death yeah i don't think so <laughs> uh now next up trappers uh we've got clinton and we've got uh yetta as well okay a few animals here and hunters so nico is out hunting for big game uh we're gonna go ahead bring back our cook brad who has been making some cooked wild vegetables for us and that's that's all that we can bring back right now let's see what we have here we have a lot of well, okay we've got birds eggs which is great that's good for us i'm gonna go ahead and take that immediately um lots of berries that we're seeing we've got our cooked wild vegetables here very nice, very nice. Lots of wild herbs, some more wild vegetables. Uh, there's a groundhog, weasel, a possum, fox, a beaver, a chicken even. Okay, uh, so what I'm going to do, just to help out here a little bit, is we're going to go and take all of the bodies, first of all. So let's just go down to here, and we're going to go and just transfer all of those bodies, like so. And then we'll just start hauling them on down here. Uh, the beaver does need to be smashed. Someone will probably do that. If not, we're going to have to do it. Actually, you know what? Let's grab that beaver. We're going to wield it. Um, let's just do that smashing over here for now. Or alternatively, we can just dismember it. No, we'll smash it first. There we go. That way it can still be butchered. We'll just drag it back on down here. And that can be moved over here. Now, hopefully, that will actually get butchered by Buster. Um, that's the hope. And look at that. Everyone's back to running around again now. Just doing Ring Around the Rosies. I think it's when there's, like, enough of them here, they start doing that. Very strange. Okay, so, Sokoro is the one that we need to have a proper chat with. So, we're going to go and grab, uh, let's see, Amateur Radio for Enthusiasts. That can bring electronics up to eight. And you need to have a skill of four to be able to understand it. Okay, so we'll grab that book. Hopefully Sokoro can read that okay. Now, which one is Sokoro? I'm pretty sure this is Sokoro over here. Yep, I can still recognize her. Okay, so let's see if we can actually track her down. Sokoro, where are you? There you are. Okay, so let's have a talk to you. Come with me, please. Uh, we're going to have a trade, first of all. So let's go ahead and give you the book we just need to find it there it is amateur radio and we're going to say we'd like you to do something uh what's your current activity study from a book bam okay begins to follow starts reading excellent okay uh but then stopped reading immediately i'm not sure are you following me or not sakoto hard to tell there is just this mess of activity going on uh let's see tell someone to follow i can see sakoro can i not shout out to her oh it says she's reading so maybe she is who's no who's to say that she isn't reading right now <laughs> who knows uh luckily we can't hear them shouting at each other that much <laughs> yeah uh right all of this stuff does need to go where all the food needs to go into the freezer we can do that uh the others 
they're busy playing tag. So we'll just go ahead and move everything across for now. Uh, sunflowers and all the rest, they can just stay here. I'm not so concerned about them. Okay, all right. All of that lot, you can go into the freezer. Lovely. Now at this stage, I think we've got a little bit of time in our day. I'm going to start to process some of the cornmeal that we should have, or rather start to make cornmeal and then make cornbread. Uh, so let's see if we are able to do that still or not. Um, we might actually be out of corn. It's possible. Let's see. Cornmeal. Yep, no, we are we are most certainly missing uh, corn. So let's just double check. Go into here. We'll make sure that there isn't any corn in here. Nope, just acorns, which we can grind up as well, but we don't need to right now. Okay, so with that, let's see. We do have one egg. I think we could have a look and see if we can make any other mutagens. I know it's a big hassle to make mutagen, and the effects that we're getting haven't been the best. We'll just say that. They really haven't been all that good. Are you okay there, Leona? Just kind of hanging out. We have our presence, just chilling, having a good time. I guess so. Uh, so, looking at this area here, jumping into our chems and into our mutagens, we can make a bird mutagen right away, which is great. We definitely want to do that. Whenever we can, whenever we have the chance to do it, we should do it. Chemistry set nearby. We'll go ahead and make it. We still have a lot of the day left, so no troubles there. And weirdly, things were working kind of fast then, which is nice. Uh, that's not always the case here. It usually goes very, very slowly. So we do have one bird mutagen so far. Is that the only one that we have right now? Let's just have a quick look. That's bored. We don't need bored. We need bird instead. Uh, so we do actually have two bird serums. We've got one regular mutagen and another one over here. Nice. That's good. So let's jump in and have a quick look at elf and see what else we need right now. Literally just going to be slime serums we've got it's only saying we've got one of two. Oh, that's what it's going to require right so we we just need to make two or rather four slime mutagens and then we should be able to make two of these and then make us a serum yeah so slime easy enough for us to accomplish we just need to go and grab some slime and the slime likes to hang out here in the sun don't ask me why, it just it just does. It enjoys being out here. It's because it's classified as other. And this is where they like to store the other things. So, slime globs. We can't take all of them with us, but we can take a decent chunk. 38, that should be enough. So, heading back into here, let's just stand in the sunlight. And we'll see if we can make ourselves some slime mutagen. Uh, we can only make the one because we are running out of mutagen. Now, I'm pretty sure we do have mutagen in our truck still. So let's just hop on down towards there and see if we are still running with a very large tank of mutagen. No, but we do have ammonia and bleach. Okay. Do we not have a big tank of mutagen somewhere? I guess, no, we've been kind of tearing through it, haven't we? Well, we are going to need some kind of tank. So let's not step into the pit. We'll head into here. Um, we're not using that drum there? Nope, that's the flame flower. Flame thrower fuel. Still very difficult to say. Uh, we do have a lot of containers over here. So we could just grab... Oh, there's only one mutagen in there at the moment. Okay. So we could take that with us. We'll wield it because uh, we have quite a bit of slime with us at the moment. We'll head on over towards here and just have a look at making some mutagen. We can't even make that. Okay, we are missing the uh, tools necessary. Okay, all of them got brought back there. The chemical making and all the rest. Okay, all right. It's gonna do this, isn't it? Okay, so I'm gonna have to track down all of our other little bits and pieces and bring them over so we can get this done. Allow me a moment here. Actually, scratch that. We can we can make it here. That's perfectly fine. So. Ah, six lots of it, and then we can just go get some more slime globs from outside. It's going to take us three hours, so this is going to be most of the day that we're working on this. Uh, we can put down our gallon jug. We'll just store that in our inventory for now as we start to work on this thing. 
We'll probably have to take a food break at some point, but we seem to be kicking through okay without too much trouble. Nearly halfway through. Okay, there we go. Very hungry. So we'll stop crafting at this point, and let's just have a munch on these berries yet again. They're going to be nice and hydrating. Good. More calories, please. Okay, satisfied. Good. And they are... They're healthy for us, so that's another thing that we got going for us. We are feeling tired, though. Hmm, anything that we want to take for that? We could take some caffeine. Down here, do we have... I mean, we still have this, the Panaceas, which is meant to be really, really good. Maybe we should have had that right after we were kind of radioactive. Would have helped us out a bit. I think we're doing a little bit better now, but we might still want to take it, potentially. Uh, looking into here, we still have quite a few injectable vitamins that we can take. Fast acting sedatives, epinephrine auto injector, could also be good for us to have something like that. Uh, you never know, a little bit of adrenaline could help us. Uh, anything else though? No, not what I'm looking for. Just looking for caffeine really, something that's going to give us a little bit of a boost. Caffeinated pill, okay. For some reason, I just missed those entirely. So we'll go ahead and have that and have some chewing gum at the same time. We'll be pretty stimulized, but it doesn't seem to do much for our tiredness. Anyway, we'll go ahead and just continue working on this and hope that we're going to be able to get through most of it, if not all, before the end of the day. Okay, up to 80%. We should be able to do this. 90, nearly there, and bam. Pour that into the gallon jug. Okay, we're going to have to go back outside, grab some more slimes, which we keep on thinking we're becoming, which is a little disturbing. Only eight. That might not be enough to be able to make the slimes we want to. Okay, so jumping into here, let's see. Slime, mutagen, we want to make four lots of this, and we can. Another two hours and 28 minutes. It's going to be a long day for us. We'll use the chem set nearby, chip away at it, we seem to be getting it done. Okay, 50% and we're very hungry again, so I'm going to go and stop crafting. We're very hot right now. Um, not sure what's making us so, so hot. We're going to have the compote to start with. All right, slaked, hydrated. Nice. We'll go ahead and have the blackberries and then just the last of these elderberries. Not satisfied yet, but we're doing okay. It's our torso that's so hot, and I guess it's because of all the stuff that we have on us. The survivor backpack is going to make us a little bit more um, warm. Let's just focus on this for now though if we can. See if we can finish it off. Okay and there we go and just as we finished that our light bones turned into hollow bones yet again. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and pour this slime mutagen into let's see something large. Not the steel drum maybe just a plastic jerry can for now there we go uh let's have a look at those hollow bones of ours yeah so they allow us to move and attack 20 percent faster but it does make us frailer um yeah oh man our torso is so encumbered right now <laughs> just massively so uh yeah the survivor backpack has a lot of items in it so that's uh contributing to that we'll also just go drop the spear strap off for now which has got the halberd on it. Yeah, that was also just very quite heavy for us. Okay, so we have everything that we need? Maybe, who knows? So let's have a look, jump back into here. Elf A Mutagen, we can make two, fantastic. 24 minutes, it's a very, very quick, uh, you know, burn to get those made. What takes longer is the serum. We're gonna go ahead and pour these two into just a beaker. Um, and a glass flask for that one. Now the next stage of this is going to take a lot longer. I'm pretty sure it takes at least maybe four hours. So we're going to go back over to the kitchen and just heat up some berries, I think. So over here towards the hot plate and we'll go ahead and heat up. Uh, we've actually got the cooked wild vegetables. Maybe we'll have that first. Yeah, not a lot in the way of calories, but they'll fill us up and they are good for us. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, we're satisfied. That'll do us for now. We'll probably need to have another meal in between all of this. Uh, and more than likely, we'll have to craft it somewhere else. But we'll start off by making it here. Okay, let's see. Back into here. Elf A Serum. And we start working on it. And I didn't see how long it was going to take, but we seem to be smashing through it pretty quickly. Okay, 
doing all right. 810, we're gonna start losing sunlight now, so we'll have to finish this off elsewhere. Okay, uh, we can see that our, we have a little light that dangles from our head now, and that starts to glow when we get hungry. It's a little creepy, little creepy. Um, yeah, so we'll just pop down here for a second. Doesn't look like any of this has been worked on yet, which is very, very disappointing. Um, we might just have to do it ourselves. Just that we have a lot more meat available to us. It's something that we'll do after we finish this though, so whatever's left is what we're going to go for. Uh, right, let's go ahead, heat up something. And we'll heat up a whole heap of berries. Whatever we have the most of, really. Um, let's see. Don't have a whole heap of them, really. Mutant lard? Not exactly what we're after. Uh, seven plums. That'll do it. They are mushy, so they're not going to be amazing. Oh no, they're not. I take that back. We'll just go ahead and eat a whole heap of plums. Our digestive system is going to be looking interesting after all of that. <laughs> yeah, and maybe just a compote afterwards. All right, I'm sure we're fine. Uh, let's just stay here near the light and we're gonna continue working on this and we run out of charges for the chemistry set. Okay, well, instead, let's just pop down here. We can always just pop on our light for now. I think we'll have a little bit of charge and let's just continue working on it. Uh, we'll use the chemistry set that's nearby and bam, done. Thankfully, we had containers nearby that we could put this into. A glass flask is what we're after. Okay, so at this stage, are we ready to do this thing? This is yet another Elf A serum. Is it going to push us closer to the edge? Who knows? It is more than likely going to give us a few negative uh, traits here because we have so many positive ones. It gets to a point where there aren't many good ones it can give us before we manage to cross the threshold. So we're rolling the dice yet again with this. We're going to have to see how that goes. Okay, so do we have a syringe in our inventory? We do, which means that we can just jump into this here and we can try and see if we can track it down. Somewhere amongst all of this stuff will be our serum. And I don't see it yet. It's definitely around here somewhere. Let's just do a search. Elf. <laughs> okay, apparently not around. But it certainly is around somewhere. It is in a glass flask. We just need to find it. <laughs> that is the trick. Um, I would have assumed it was here with the other containers. But, you know, it could actually be elsewhere. Let's just do a look search like this. Elf. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's more than likely hidden in one of these then, if I had to guess. Okay, looking at this here, we've got a lot of radiated stuff, and there it is, our Elf A serum. In the locker, just hanging out with some ghee and some sugary cereal. Of course it is. I don't know why those are in there, but they are. I'm not going to ask. But we are going to inject ourselves with this green looking substance yet again. And so, if you would all please cross your fingers with me as we look to delve deeper into the unknown with dusk. Tapping it twice and placing it towards her vein, we inject the serum in three, two, one, bam. Okay, so. Some things happened there. Let's see what we got. Okay, all right. Images of our past life flash before us. Okay, so let's just jump in, have a look at that. Everything goes green. You're stunned. We lose our reflex photo for mutation. That's okay. And then we gained it again. That's strange. Uh, we gained a mutation called less sleep meaning we require less sleep. That's fantastic. That's great. We're very happy right now, and so we start glowing. That little light above our head just starts glowing because we're feeling nice and happy. So, that was okay. That worked out pretty good. Images of your past life flash before you. I think we are getting closer now. We are tired, which means that we're going to be able to sleep and we'll probably have some dreams that might be different from what we've had so far. We'd be mostly having just slime dreams, but now we require less sleep, so that's cool. 
You need less sleep than the average person. We are certainly becoming an elf. Yeah. We're also a very heavy sleeper still, which, you know, that's that's good. It's good that we can sleep for a firefight because the amount of noise that this troop makes is, well, it's a lot. <laughs> so let's get ready to sleep. And uh, we're probably going to be sleeping in the tent because they're going to be doing this all night. And you know what? Before we go to sleep, I think I do want to try and, yeah, see, they're already old. If we go here and we say butcher everything, full butchery, it's only going to take four hours. And I say only. That's going to take us up to, you know, half past midnight. We can do that. And so we're going to. Let's start chopping through this here. See what we're able to get. Uh, we'll continue after a break. Catch our breath back. We'll do the same thing again. And just butcher as much of this as we can. Same deal here. Okay. We managed to harvest some blood. I wonder if we have containers nearby if we actually keep the blood. It might be worth us considering just, yeah, having a few containers set to the side. There's going to be some rotten stuff here. We're just going to have to be okay with that. And this is definitely taking longer than I thought it was going to. <laughs> we're not, you know, we're not exhausted yet, but we probably are on our way to getting exhausted. The weariness is getting to be quite a bit. Covered in blood, we continue to work. Okay, and now we're dead tired, so we will stop butchering. How far did we make it? It's pretty much all rotten. That is so disappointing. Is it really all rotten? And we've got some bones and some feathers, but it's pretty much all rotten. That is real disappointing. The fat is still good though. Hey, we got something out of it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's super, super disappointing. Well, thanks team. <laughs> you did a good job. Okay, so we will move the fat over into the freezer. So disappointed that that's all rotten. Um... Yeah, the pelts we will take because we actually do need those. So we'll put them in the freezer for now as well. The bone, everything else like that, that can just sit there for now. Um, let's catch our breath back just while we're standing here. Very hungry. We're dead tired. Let's just go knock back the compote. And we're going to have ourselves a little bit of sleep. Um, last night, I went to sleep listening to the MP3 player and we were able to. Uh, we're actually just going to turn that off for now, though, and we're going to put our earplugs in. You need to wear the pair of attached earplugs. Okay, let's go ahead and wear them and we'll put them in. Plugging up our ears, it's nice and quiet. Let's settle down for the evening. And yep, our reflex thing is on. We can't turn it off. So we just kind of have to get used to that. And thankfully we do fall asleep. Okay, all right. Are we gonna have any dreams that are different? Oh, hey, we lost our nearsighted mutation. Well, that's bloody brilliant. There we go. That's our unstable genome. Genome still working for us, but there, there we go. Your vivid dream of living as a slime. So we are still closer to slime than anything else at this stage. Man, Elf A is incredibly difficult to reach. We keep trying to get closer, and we are still far too close to being a slime. Thankfully, we won't cross the threshold until we actually take a slime serum so that's good we got that going for us hey everyone else is uh <laughs> sleeping around us uh but we do wake up because it's probably too bright to sleep so let's just walk out of here close that behind us and you know what let's see socorro have you been reading let's have a chat uh you we definitely can't talk okay well let's go ahead and take our earplugs out okay let's have a chat um, I want to see your abilities. Electronics, where are you at? They're still at four. You lied to me, Sokoto. You have not been reading. There's something I want you to do. <laughs> I want you to read. Uh, so, current activity. Not doing much. Why? Why? Please study from a book. Okay. And says she's reading, but she runs away. She runs away to do what? actually read or what i'm not sure no runs away to sleep of course of course well it looks like we aren't going to have the radio finished yet i was hoping we were going to have that done today but hey here we are and look at that i think the other yeah the other things that were here actually did get butchered eventually but it's just too long at this stage they're freezing 
So I don't know whether or not we might be able to store the corpses in the freezer. Probably not, because the volume would just be way, way too high. Yeah. Unfortunate that we lost so much there. Who knows? We might be able to figure something out there, but that will be in the future. For now, Dusk is a little bit closer to becoming that elf. <laughs> or just this, yeah, metahuman. Something that is beyond what we see around us. The others that are here. That's what she needs to make it. To survive out there. To be able to survive without a truck to protect her. Because uh, there's a strong chance we probably could have won those fights today. But we wouldn't be in one piece right now. Or rather, maybe we would. Our regeneration's pretty good. All the same, the woods is coming along. Slowly but surely, we are getting there with this group. And if Sokoro can finish that book, well, we'll be able to contact the outside world. And with that, I think we'll be able to upgrade this place further. That will all be... That will all be in the future, though. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. For now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.